Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to yet another video of the Football Mania and today is yet another incredible day if you are a fan of Arsenal Football Club just like me. Because guess what, we have heard the three golden words, here we go once again from Fabrizio Romano and this time it is Arsenal's you know, official news which says that Alexander Zinchenko has signed on a four-year deal with Arsenal for a fee of around 30 million pounds, which is quite reasonable to be honest, because this is a player which everyone, you know, kind of falls under the radar. He is kind of one of those players who is very, very consistent in his ability on the ball. He's technically quite gifted. He can play two or three multiple positions. If you put him in left back, if you put him in left sided midfield or if you put him as a left sided centre back, he can cover all those three positions which is quite vital for a club like Arsenal. And having seen the kind of recruitment which has taken place in Mikel Arteta's Arsenal, it is quite obvious that he prefers players who are around the age of 25 or 24 years old. Because this is a youth project which we all are made to believe and trust for a very long time now and it is all down to the results this season because if he gets it wrong this season, I am sure there is no way out for him. And having had a complete transfer window where everything from recruitment and from the method methodology and when it comes to execution, everything is given to Mikel Arteta. And he along with Edu Gaspar have made sure that they are recruiting the right kind of players who fit into the Arsenal model. That is the most crucial aspect in this case because he is a very good admirer of Alexander Zinchenko. Zinchenko can bring that kind of versatility which Arsenal were lacking to be honest because Granit Xhaka cannot play a different role. He cannot play as the left back and Kieran Tierney is quite inconsistent in terms of his playing time. He gets injured quite often. So Arsenal did replace, did require a backup and Alexander Zinchenko is a quite experienced centre back or left back in the Premier League. He has played for Manchester City obviously. So he will bring that kind of winning mentality to Arsenal. And Along with Gabriel Jesus, I think they have done very good business with Manchester City and obviously Manchester City are targeting Mark Cucurella from Brighton who is yet another exceptional left back. And let's be honest here, if I was Mikel Arteta, I would not stop here because this is just the start of many more good signings yet to come. I would have seen that you know the midfield is still quite short. They don't have that kind of you know, influential midfielder who can dictate the game and take the game by the scruff of the neck. And there is no disrespect, there is no kind of, you know, disappointment from my side because I feel that Zinchenko can give you that kind of flexibility which you require. And if I was Mikel Arteta, I would be over the moon just like any other Arsenal fan. And, you know, as soon as the statement was released, personal terms have been agreed. And it's just a matter of time now that the medical takes place and then he will be officially announced by Arsenal Football Club. And let's be honest about Zinchenko. It is a signing in my opinion which will, you know, sometimes surprise others. But I feel that he will be having a very good impact because on the left hand side we have seen that whenever Tierney is falling back, he's not getting that kind of support from the other players in the left wing such as Gabriel Martinelli. But with Zinchenko, it will give that additional cushion in the defence as well as on the offensive aspect of things. And I feel that he can kind of play as the wing back player uh, either with three men at the back or four men at the back. I think he'll, he'll be quite adaptable and he wanted to always join Arsenal. There is no two ways about it. Because he himself has revealed that he wanted to get more game time and obviously with the situation in Ukraine, it was never easy last season. Still, he was getting minutes even in the Champions League and coming with that kind of experience and that kind of mentality of winning football matches, 
I am sure that you know Mikel Arteta would be rubbing his hands. He would be really excited to work with a player like Zinchenko who gives his 100% on the pitch. This is the kind of commitment which I was you know always expecting to see from a club like Arsenal because they have the potential. They have the young players at their disposal. It is just the time for everything to come together and as a team what do they do is the big question. Can they completely, you know, dominate this season with the kind of signings that they have made? What kind of additional signings would you do if you were Mikel Arteta? Please let me know your thoughts and first and foremost, please let me know what do you think about Zinchenko? What kind of position will he play in come the start of the season? Will he be a dedicated left back or will he be playing in the midfield? That is yet another very interesting question which I would leave up to you all for a debate. So please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. How do you think Arsenal will be faring and what is the future for Arsenal Football Club with such a significant signing of Alexander Zinchenko. So let me know and if you have liked this video, please do not forget to hit the like button and share it with your network. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, it is very simple. Please hit the subscribe button and for regular notifications, you have the bell icon. So please stay safe and take care.